Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and a Sims Free Play Let's Build tutorial. We are going to build this house today. We've previously shown a tour of this house on the channel, and we called it the Senior's House because it was built for a couple of grandparents. The layout is actually based on one of the pre-made houses in the game. That house is a two-story, unfurnished house, which costs social points. I really like that layout, but at the time I made the original grandparents' house, I didn't feel like spending so many social points on an unfurnished house. So instead, I just studied the layout and made my own version, which only has one story and one bedroom. I think this is a small, cute house which will work well for anyone who's trying not to spend too much money. If you're building this house in your own town, obviously you can make whatever changes you want and spend as much or as little as you want. If you are building this house and if you share any pictures on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, we would just appreciate if you could let people know you got it from our channel, Make2. So this is it, just with the rooms. And now I'm going to put in windows and doors. So because this house is for grandparents, for senior citizens, I'm going to use a lot of more formal looking kind of furniture and decorations, so you'll see that as we go forward with the house. And I just think of this as maybe a retirement kind of place where the grandparents have moved after having raised their kids, they've decided to downsize and move into a smaller house just so that they can be cozy together. Now this is what it looks like with the doors and windows in. We also need to, of course, put doors on the inside rooms, but first I'm going to put in flooring. I think the picture that I showed at the beginning of the video will have slightly different flooring because I used some of the limited time Easter flooring for the kitchen and bathrooms. But I think these tile patterns work really well. And for the wallpaper, I'm going for this two-tone wallpaper because I think it's nice and formal. And now for the interior doors. So this house has one and a half bathrooms. It's got one full bathroom, which is off of the bedroom, and it's got one small powder room, which means it's only got a toilet and a sink for guests to use when they come over. For the TV, back here in this room, which is meant to be an informal family room for the grandparents to come to when they just want to relax. I'm putting in a small TV. In the bedroom, I'm giving them this quilt bed. You can get the quilt-themed furniture from completing the senior's quilting hobby, and that hobby is unlocked by completing the In Stitches quest. We've got a video for that quest and that hobby on our channel as well. So one of the things I really liked about this layout and the reason that I wanted to use it is because it's got this really long kitchen slash dining area in the middle of the house here. And I just like the idea of even if the grandparents are downsizing and retiring to a small cottage type house, 
they still want to see their kids and grandkids a lot, so I liked the idea of them having a really big kitchen, which also had a big dining table inside, and you'll see the dining table later in the video, but it just seemed like a nice, cozy family place where grandma, obviously, and grandpa probably like to cook for their kids and grandkids and entertain them all around a big table, especially like at Thanksgiving or Christmas or other holidays. So in the front here, we've got a formal living room. This is going to be for just appearances. I don't think that grandma and grandpa would spend all their time here. They preferred probably to spend in the informal room in the back of the house, but when they've got nice company over, I like the idea of senior couple having a formal parlor, I guess you would call it a parlor, in the front of the house where all of their like older furniture lives furniture that they've had, you know, since they were a young couple and is now considered maybe antique kind of furniture. So in the back room here, I'm just using the quilt sofa and quilt armchair, which again, you get from completing the senior's quilting hobby a few times. And here is that big dining table. This has room for eight sims to sit around, so nice and big for a big family. Of course, you can get a bigger table if you want. Like I said, feel free to make whatever changes you want to if you're building this in your own town. I'm only putting in furniture just to illustrate and show the possibilities. I feel like a nice formal grandfather clock in the hallway is a thing that a lot of people's grandparents have. Just putting a couple of flower pots outside the back door, and you'll see why, because there will be more yard decorations in a little bit. And maybe grandma and grandpa have a cat, so there's a cat dish there, and a cat scratching post kind of thing next to the TV in the informal room. Now I'm putting in lamps. and just a few trees in the yard. And I think Grandma and Grandpa like to garden as well, and obviously gardening helps Sims make money. So here we've got a romantic swing, which I think was from the Extreme Home Takeover Quest. I could be wrong, but I think that's one of the prizes for it. And then just around the garden I put these white flower trellises just to have a nice little sitting area outside for Grandma and Grandpa. And in the front, as sort of an entryway or a gateway to the garden, I'm putting that white wedding arbor there. It's just a little splurge. And plants inside the house always makes a house seem nice and warm and lived in, in my opinion. I'm just going to put a small little stereo in the informal room so they have something to listen to while they're playing with a cat or reading or sitting around. <laughs> so 
So I mentioned the quilting hobby, and you can get the quilting set from the hobby store in town, and once you buy it, it goes into your inventory, and you can collect it from the hobbies section of the inventory. And I just figure the quilting hobby is maybe a thing that grandma or grandpa like to do, so that goes in the informal room as well. And I like it especially because it has a rocking chair, which I think is a cozy kind of thing. And then just a park bench outside in this part of the yard. So that is the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Build tutorial. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.